Hello. It's time for photos with stories to tell. How are you, Peloton? Yeah, I'm going to give you some tips. If you're stuck at home and you're working from home and you've got your desk, it's a good idea to get one of these um, under the desk bicycles. Or well, this is a seat which you can pedal. It's really cool. Or you can get one of these snazzier ones, fancy. You can sit at your desk and pedal away and uh, do a bit of cycling. Um, if you want something more affordable, there are these under the desk pedaling uh, exercise equipment. Definitely worth getting. Now, time to talk about interesting photos from history. Look at this chap here. This is an early version of uh, roller skates. So they're like little bicycles. Just, they just look like a huge amount of fun. Here's another photo, and this is Jack the Baboon. He worked on the railway in South Africa, and he worked there. For nearly 10 years, 9 years, yeah, 10 years, in the late 19th century. And apparently they said he never, ever made a mistake. Isn't that just splendid? Animals are brilliant. They are. Oh, here it is. Another interest, interesting picture. Well, this was about the Ku Klux Klan, you know. These people. This is from April 1926 in uh, Canyon City, Colorado. And they're having some fun on a travelling carnival's ferris wheel. Um, the owner, apparently, the carnival owner insisted and the story appeared. Insisted, you know, that they have the picture taken and it was on the front of the local paper the next day. In those days, back in the 1920s, the Ku Klux Klan, they were very popular in America. They were allowed to do what they wanted uh, in public and the government gave them their support. So, and even the local children of the Klan were called, um, they used to write KKK on their uniforms and call themselves Ku Klux Klan kids. Of course, the Klan did a lot of evil killing and lynching people especially you know uh, we all know what the clan did with some black people now the hatred and racism has to stop even now there still is this hatred it rots the soul open your mind open your heart i think you miss out if you choose only to be with people who are like you if you don't want to know people of different religion different race different part of the world it's uh, you you never know you're going to miss out on some wonderful people so show some love and be friendly oh so i did some ku klux klan here with like monty python sketch clan people waiting at the carousel here they are i thought i'd do pictures of clan having fun here is the ku klux klan member blowing balloon balloon <laughs> bullet I'm forever blowing bubbles blowing bubbles everywhere anyway don't like them horrible I had you gotta I have a lot of love for the human race but when people hate and they use their hatred to do horrific acts like kill other people I have issues with that stop hating um anyway this interesting picture is people you see these ladies dining in a in a lake or, or a swamp and they are surrounded by crocodiles it's a picnic at los angeles california alligator farm where people are allowed to mingle among the trained alligators los angeles is fantastic this was between 1907 and 1953 so it's no longer happening so you missed out on these wonderful trained alligators <laughs> Oh, and here is another interesting picture of Adolf Hitler posing in the 1930s in his lederhosen. He had a load of pictures banned because he thought they undermined his dignity. Um, and an allied soldier found copies of them in a German house in 1945. Oh, look at him relaxing there in his girly sock. 
Not again. I mean, the sort of thing a young girl would wear and little shoes. So I thought I'd make some more Monty Python type pictures of him. There he is in the room, but as a young girl, it's found you by teddy bears. But look at these bears. One bear's been, his eyes are blindfolded. This bear is in bondage outfit. And this little bear is in a box with a collar on. My goodness, the things some girls do. Not on. <laughs> but they are teddy bears, and teddy bears should be treated better because teddy bears are all love. They are the symbol of the purest love. So here he is again. He was evil, wasn't he, Hitler? Oh, Hitler playing. And there are these children of a different race. Hitler doesn't want to talk to them. Because we all know what the Nazis did, sending millions to the gas chamber. There are people who deny the Holocaust who say it did not happen. Well, these people are rotten. They they want to carry on the hatred. The hatred has to stop. Stop hating people who are Jewish. Stop hating people who are different religion, different sexuality. I mean, it, it's, like I said, rots the soul. Start showing some love. And people still still like this evil man, this Hitler, if you can call him a man, he's a beast. And somebody said, a writer said, when he, before he was, how was Hitler made? When his parents were fornicating, the devil turned up. The devil turned up and made Hitler. Apparently Hitler wanted to be an art, he was rejected from loads of art schools. They should have let him be, should have accepted him in art school and maybe he would have just been an awful artist and not been angry and turned into some evil killer. Evil, genocidal beast, monster. Oh, and here he is. Hitler as a Japanese girl. Probably for doing some cam work, being a happy, cuddly girl. And here as a dancing girl. Oh, here's another interesting quote. Anyway, basically, don't be evil, be nice. And, oh, here's the fun thing. This bicycle, because it's made with this... And this floatable wheels, it floats. It uh, We don't see it anymore. Obviously it didn't take off. Here is in London, in the, in the 1930s, mothers in London kept their babies in cages and they used to hang them out the windows to give the babies fresh air. And they said, it, <laughs> the babies, <laughs> the babies, well, they were all right, but they, <laughs> they never fell out. This is a sad, sad story, sad picture. This little elephant, well, oh, poor elephant, she's called Big Mary, and she worked for um, Sparks World Famous Shows, Travelling Circus. She entertained people from all across America. But it all came to an end in 1916 in the town of Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, she was arrested for murdering her trainer who beat her with a hook. And here they hanged her from a crane in front of a crowd. You know, they, she was an elephant, a poor little animal being persecuted and they killed her. It's just wrong. Be kind to animals. Well, God rest her soul. Treated really badly. She was innocent. It, the owner, the person who hurt her should have been punished. Oh, interesting photo. These are Egyptian mummies and this is an Egyptian chap from the early 1900s and no, 1865, actually. This is a very old picture, and he's selling mummies. No respect for the dead. It's just morbid. Oh, here's a picture of a man riding on a tortoise. A giant tortoise. Oh, here's a little goat riding a tortoise. Why shouldn't animals ride tortoises if people ride? Here's a goat riding them. Oh, why shouldn't a tortoise ride a tortoise if people and other animals are riding tortoises? Even a child is riding tortoises. This man is, is Baron Walter Rothschild on Rotuma tortoise. Oh, here, oh, in mythology, in the creation myths of the world, people believe that the world was floating, was on top of a tortoise that was gliding across the universe. It's also in Terry Pratchett's Discworld. Terry Pratchett, I mean, yeah, that, the writer. Yeah, a lot of mythologies, these um, early ancient cultures believed that. There, the tortoise floating. And uh, some say on top of the tortoise were elephants, and on top of the elephants was the world. So here's an image of that. 
cool. And then there's an image of there, the elephant and the tortoise and the world on top. Oh, in uh, in Chinese mythology, we find, you know, that they are symbols of good luck. You know, they're, they're an emblem of longevity, longevity and... Uh, uh, he's because he's like a peaceful, content animal, so that's why he's very popular. So in China, they combine the tortoise and the dragon. So very a, a symbol of good luck. Here it is again: the Chinese dragon and tortoise. Yeah. Oh, there he is again: tortoise with the world on his back. Oh, we're going to go and look at mythology now. In mythology regarding sea creatures in the medieval times. Well, we're going to go according to the tradition of the Physiologus and medieval bestiaries, stories about animals. The Espidocalone is a fabled sea creature, and it's usually like a large whale, sea turtle, or any, basically a huge creature. It's described as being massive, and it's often mistaken for an island. So, so it would be in the sea. It would be, it would just lift its shell up, and people would just see this shell. It would have, um, maybe have sand dunes on it. it. Might have trees and greenery and valleys, and generally look like an island. And the sailors would mistake it for an island, and they would be drowned. The creature would drag them under and drown them and usually it was like the de a demon or a devil creature anyway this aspidocalone it's I say it's a greek compound greek word aspis meaning asp or shield and the kelone or the shalone meaning turtle so it's a crafty beast uh, it, it's who usually it represents satan who deceived those whom he seeks to devour. So he's a symbol of evil. He appears in like adventures, adventures of Pinocchio and Baron Munchausen, and it's in the Bible, the book of Jonah. Um, so it's this, it's generally seen as a, a devil, really, who, uh, it's, who goes out to hurt people people who uh, people who don't pay heed or don't believe in the devil and his wiles and uh, they do what they want sometimes they believe in him and so the devil gets them and takes them to the burning fires to get for Gehen to Gehenna there he is T uh, the devil fish there he is, known to be bad. Oh, wait there, we can go back a bit. Oh, apparently, the, the, it's like a demonic thing. Devils try to outwit humans, and that's a secret power. They incite humans to do corrupt stuff and to misguide and lead them astray. Um, in ancient civilizations like the Egyptians, it's a symbol of good luck. Oh, we thought here is the Japanese fairy tale. And he's, oh, he's riding, as per usual. They, you can ride on these things because they're massive. Urashi Mataro, that's the fairy tale. He's a fisherman who is rewarded for rescuing a turtle and gets carried back, carried on the back of a uh, the tortoise to the dragon palace. There he is in the dragon palace, and he's entertained by a beautiful princess, as you can see, as a reward. And he thinks he's just spending a few days there, a wonderful time. This beautiful princess and lovely guest, but. You know, when he returns to his village, he finds out he's been gone for at least a hundred years, and he opens his forbidden jeweled box, the tamatebako, given to him by um, Otohime, the princess, on his departure, and he turns into an old man. 
and the tale it, it's it's quite an old story and I think well silly thing is why do they give <laughs> why do characters give things like these boxes to other characters and tell them don't open them something awful will happen if you do you can bet your life you give something to somebody you tell them not to open it you can bet your life they will open it it's the same as when you tell somebody a secret and tell them don't tell anybody you can bet your life they'll be itching to tell all the world and his missus so you know turned old so that's the end of him so that's the end of our little adventure and here's a little baby tortoise saying good night ah so basically be good be happy be kind and loving because you know being hateful like the Ku Klux Klan or like Hitler being nasty rocks the soul don't be jealous don't be insensitive and don't be sort of insecure be be happy and be nice hope you enjoyed my little video so be kind and because the teddy bears have helped me make this so have a lovely day evening or night or good night take care i'm sending you love i love you lots so I hope some of it, my love, makes you feel better, makes you become a better person. I want you to keep getting better and better every day. You like the French say, tous les jours tu point de vous, je veux de mieux en mieux. Look in the mirror and say that. Tous les jours tu point de vous, je veux de mieux en mieux. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Yeah, be good to yourself. And be good. And enjoy my videos. It will make your life better. Bye-bye. Good night. Ta-ra.